Hi everyone and welcome to your one hour all body power flow. So yeah, this is one of my favourite classes and I hope you enjoy it. Um, we're going to get started today doing a little bit of a moving meditation, so starting to move the body but nothing too big to start off with. So when we're ready, just coming down into a kneeling position and we will get started. So you might like to keep your eyes open for the first kind of first kind of flow and then you can kind of see what the moving meditation is looking like and then we can close down through the eyes so as we inhale we're going to take the arms up exhale take a stretch over to the right inhale through center exhale over to the left inhale up exhale take the hands behind you take the head down find a child's pose inhale come up again so we're just going to work through the sequence 10 times. So taking a second here, first of all, just to drop down, closing through the eyes, bringing the awareness back to the breath. Focusing on those inhales and those exhales. So keeping the hands, palms down. And then we'll start to move through. Inhale, we take the arms up. Exhale, find a stretch over to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, over to the left. Inhale, up. Exhale, draw the hands down through heart center. Take the hands behind you, forehead to the mat, child's pose. Inhale, just lift up again. Working through this. Inhale, we sweep the arms up. Exhale, stretch. Inhale, center. Exhale, stretch. Inhale, back up. Exhale, hands come down through. Heart center, forehead comes down to the mat. Child's pose. Inhale, lift back up. Exhale, here. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, over to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Inhale, center. Exhale, bring the forehead down, ground down, child's pose. Inhale, come up. Exhale, release the breath. Inhale, arms fly up again. Exhale, over to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, over to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, hands draw down, find that child's pose. Inhale, sweep everything back up. Exhale here. Inhale, take the arms up to the sky. Exhale, stretch. Inhale, center. Exhale again. Inhale, center. Exhale, come down, child's pose. Inhale, lift up. Exhale here. One more time. Inhale, take the arms up. Exhale, stretch over to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, stretch over to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, draw the hands down, forehead to the mat, child's pose. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, release the breath. Bringing hands to heart center here, keeping the eyes closed. Taking a nice releasing breath in through the nose. And release it out through the mouth. Feeling into that inner energy, that prana moving through the body. When we're ready, taking those hands down in front and taking the weight into the hands, just tucking under the toes here. And either just staying here with the toes tucked, keeping the weight in the hands, or taking the hands off and allowing the body to just sit back onto the feet. So you're getting a nice stretch here out through the toes. Just gently resting the hands on the thighs or maybe taking the hands to heart center, gazes forwards. Option here as well to close down through the eyes for a second. Just staying with the breath wherever you are. If you've taken the hands off, knowing you can always take them back down to the mat. So staying with that breath. Noticing any sensations through the feet, through the legs. And 
gently rolling forwards, taking the hands down, untucking the toes. From here, we're going to stretch the other way, so toes untucked. You might like to take knees apart slightly, so they're a little bit wider, or keep them together. And we're going to see if we can just rock back. So we kind of pick up the knees, pick up the thighs, so that we're stretching, we're balancing on the tops of our feet, so the opposite to what we were doing before. Once again, keeping the back nice and straight, resting the hands down, or taking the hands to heart center. Just getting that stretch out through the feet. Eyes can be closed or gaze can be forwards. Still taking this time at the start of the practice to really drop down into the breath. And gently releasing down. In this kneeling position, we're going to take the hands and take them kind of to the sides of the knees, sides of the upper thighs. And we're going to work through some strengthening of the arms here. So as we inhale, keeping the toes untucked, so keeping the toes as they are, inhale, lift the knees. And just seeing if you can push up, seeing if you can hold for just a couple of seconds. Exhale, lower down. So we're going to go for four more times. Really pushing through the hands, it's going to help. Inhale, lift up. You might not be as lifting as high as me, you might be down here, wherever you are. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, push through the hands, lift the knees, lift the legs up. Exhale, come down. Inhale, find the lift. Exhale, release. One last time, inhale, find that lift. Exhale, release it down. Taking the hands up, just moving through the wrists, circling. And we're gonna come through our dancing camel variation. So taking the knees out wide, taking right hand behind you. As we inhale, we sweep left arm up and over, opening out through the chest, through that heart space. As we start to exhale, we sweep that left arm back down, sweep it behind us, ground the left hand down, we pick the right arm up on the inhale. Open out that way. Moving through. Moving round, planting down the right hand, inhaling, left arm comes up. As we exhale, we start to sweep the hand down, and as we sweep the hand down, we pick the other one up, inhale, take it round. Opening out through the hip space, through the heart space, gazing to the sky. Working through a couple of these with your own breath. No need to go faster than me or slower or even match my pace. Use this exercise to match your own breath. It's your practice today. Taking just one more on each side. Inhaling and exhaling. And then coming forwards. Walking the hands forwards, making sure shoulders are stacked above wrists, hips stacked above knees, coming into our cat cow. So from here, I offer you time to take intuitive movement, whatever works for you. Traditionally, we drop the belly, lift the head on the inhale. On the exhale, we let the head hang heavy, we curve through the spine. So if you want to stay with this movement, by all means, feel welcome. If you would like to take some circles, feel free. Maybe you want to pad out through the hands or stretch through the feet lots of days. So you might even want to take a tap out of the feet, whatever feels good for the body. So as always, my favorite idea, the idea of call and response. Take a second to ask the body what it needs and then answer through your movement. You might need to move through the neck. You might want to drop those elbows down, move in circles. Making sure if you have moved in circles that you've moved in both directions. And then when you're ready, gently coming to find neutral. And we're going to tuck under those toes and fly the hips up and back. Find our downward facing dog. So just taking a moment of stillness here, you might like to pedal out through the feet. Heels don't have to be down on the mat, it's just an idea of where they're going. Staying with the breath here. 
Inhaling and exhaling. Checking in. And then walking the feet to the front of the mat, taking the feet hip distance apart in front of the wrists, transferring that weight out of the hands, taking it all into the feet. Knees can be slightly bent here if you need. Inhale, taking right arm up, bending through left knee, gaze to the sky, find that stretch. Exhale, take right arm down, bend through the right knee, inhale, take left arm up, gaze to the fingertips. Exhale, bring it down, and just slowly we're going to roll up to Tadasana. So vertebrae by vertebrae, letting the head, fingers, everything still hang heavy. And then slowly as we straighten through the back, we draw up through the shoulders, through the chest, through the head, taking that gaze forwards. Hands are down by our sides, nice and long, fingers stretched. Lovely, everyone. And we'll start to work through our sun salutations. As we inhale, taking the arms up to the sky, finding a stretch over to the right on the exhale. Inhale through center. Exhale, stretch over to the left. Inhale through center. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana, forward fold. There can be a bend in the knees here if you need. Inhale, find that halfway lift, space of the chest. Exhale, place the hands down, step it back to your plank. Drop down through the knees, untuck the toes, lower the chest down. Inhale, lift the head, lift the chest, baby cobra. Exhale, push down, tuck under the toes, fly the hips back, downward facing dog. Breathing here. We're going to take some spinal rolls, always the option to take a pause or a child's pose instead here if you'd like. So as we inhale, we roll forwards into that plank, exhale, drop the knees, push it back. Two more times, inhaling forwards, exhale, push down through the knees, come back, inhaling and exhaling, moving with the body. Everyone meeting back in the down dog, looking forwards to prepare. Stepping or jumping, feet to the hands, finding that halfway lift. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, sweep arms up to the sky, Uddhastasana, gaze to the hands. Exhale, hands come down through heart center. Same again. Inhale, Uddhastasana, gaze up. Exhale, find that forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step it back to plank, this time coming through knees and chest as before, or coming through your chaturanga. Inhaling, baby cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, tuck under the toes, fly the hips up and back, down dog. Option to pause here, take a child's pose or come through the spinal rolls. Inhale, roll forwards. Exhale, push back. Just two more. Inhale, forwards. Exhale, push back. Inhale, forwards. Exhale, push it back. Taking a second here, everybody meeting back in that down dog. Looking forwards to prepare. Inhaling, stepping or jumping, feet to the hands, find the halfway lift. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold, let the head hang heavy. Inhale, sweep the arms up to the sky, Udvahastasana. Exhale, hands come down through heart center. Lovely, everyone. Working through Hasan Salutation B. As we inhale this time, we bend through the legs, take the arms up to the sky, Udkatasana. Gaze to the sky here. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, find the halfway lift. Exhale, take the hands down, step it back to your plank. This time in our plank, we're going to take some rocks, so ten. We're just going to push forwards and push back. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and then come through your vinyasa, knees and chest or chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or baby cobra. Exhale, tuck under the toes, push back, downward facing dog. Brilliant, guys. On the inhale, sweeping right leg up to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, draw it forwards, plant the foot down, ground down through the back foot at an angle. Inhale, sweep the arms up, find your warrior one. Reaching tall here. Exhale, take the hands down, frame the foot, step it back to your plank, taking those rocks again. This time we're going to go for 15. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Come through your vinyasa, knees and chest or chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or baby cobra. Exhale, tuck under the toes, take it back, downward facing dog. Inhale, take left leg up to the sky, three legged dog. Exhale, take it down, plant it, ground down through the back foot at an angle. Inhale, take the arms up, find your warrior one, nice bend in the front leg, reaching the arms tall. Exhale, take the hands down, step it back to your plank, you know what's coming. This time 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come through your vinyasa, knees and chest or chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or baby cobra. Exhale, tuck under the toes, fly the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Everyone taking a pause here, dropping the knees, untucking the toes, taking the arms long, coming through your child's pose. Breathing here, taking a second to check in. Maybe finding a gentle rock from side to side. Wherever you are, just staying with the breath. Focusing on every inhale, every exhale. Taking the time to just check in. How is the body feeling today? Inhaling. We're going to slowly push up. Taking the weight back into the hands, tucking under the toes, coming back to our downward facing dog. Option here from our down dog. We're going to take some down dog, up dog variations. Like we did, I think, in the goddess practice. So as we inhale, we roll forwards as if we're coming into plank. Drop the belly, lift the chest, straight arms, gazes forwards. So we're in this up dog variation with the toes tucked. So you want to keep everything active here. Engage through the glutes, engage through the legs. Exhale, we push back, take it back to our down dog. Inhale, roll forwards. Exhale, push it back. Three more times. Inhale, roll forwards. Exhale, push it back. Inhale, roll forwards. Exhale, push it back. One more time. Inhale, roll it forwards. Maybe here in your up dog sing, if you can just lift off that back leg. Maybe the right foot just comes off for a second. Take the right foot down. Maybe trying the left leg now. Take it out, point the toes. Exhale, draw it back, feeling into the wobbles, engaging through the glutes. Push back, downward facing dog. Pausing here. Everybody looking forwards to prepare. Inhaling, stepping or jumping, feet to the hands, finding that halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, bend through the knees, take the arms up, Utkatasana, gaze to the hands. We're getting low here. Taking a big breath, inhaling. On the exhale, maybe you can drop a little bit lower, take the arms out in front, gazes forwards. Breathing. One more big inhale through the nose. Exhale, straighten, take a forward fold. Let everything hang heavy. And we're going to slowly, like we did at the start of the class, just roll the spine back up again. So straightening through those knees and then slowly, slowly lifting up. Vertebrae by vertebrae. Shoulders roll back. Gaze is forwards. Fingers reaching down. Standing tall in our Tadasana. Breathing here. Releasing breath in through the nose. And out through the mouth. <sighs> Let it all go. So standing here tall in Atadasana, 
We're going to come to our Utkatasana again. So as we inhale, we take the arms up to the sky, we bend through the knees. An option here to keep the knees apart, if you'd like to, just take the knees together, toes together. can feel a little bit easier. So gaze is up to the hands. We're sitting low here, keeping with the breath, inhaling and exhaling. Taking everything nice and slow. Now option here to see if you can take that weight into the left foot and maybe pushing the knees together, you can just balance that right foot off, point the toes. Staying with the breath, finding something that isn't moving, so focusing your drishti. Exhale, take it down. Coming to do the other foot, grounding now through the right side, maybe balancing off that left foot for just a couple of seconds. Staying with the breath in and out. Exhale, take it down. One more big inhale. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Hands can be down to the mats or down to the feet. You can take a bend through the knees, letting the head hang heavy here, taking a second. Inhale, find your halfway lift. Exhale, take the hands down, step the feet back, come through your vinyasa, knees and chest or chaturanga. Inhaling, baby cobra or up dog. Exhale, tuck under the toes, fly the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Five breaths here. Option to take a child's pose, should you like to. Breathing. On an inhale, sweeping that right leg up to the sky, finding your three-legged dog. Exhale, draw it forwards, plant it down between the hands. We're staying up on those back toes. Inhale, come up, find your high lunge. Reaching arms long here, arms reaching towards the sky. Might like to take Kali Mudra with the hands, interlacing the fingers, index fingers together, thumbs crossed. Feeling into that inner energy. Working with our banders, Uddiyana Bandra, our core is engaged, making sure the ribs aren't flaring. And a nice bend in the front knee. Stand tall here, stand strong. One more big inhale. Exhale, we take the right hand out in front, left arm comes behind us, working into a twist, taking the gaze behind. Breathing here, fingers reaching long. Right palm flips up, possibly comes up and over, maybe you can switch the gaze up to the top hand. Back hand, maybe gently just touching the back leg. Inhale, look up. Exhale, release the hands back. <laughs> And then take the arms back up, find that high lunge again. Kali Mudra, we've done a lot of work on this right leg. Notice how the body's feeling here. Then on an inhale, we're gonna see if we can push up and off. Come into a warrior three, so feel into any wobbles that you might have. So right leg is down, left leg is out behind us. We're pointing the toes or maybe flexing the foot. We've got hands at heart center. We can keep Kali Mudra here if we'd like at heart center. So body is parallel down to the mats. And we're gonna take 10 pulses here. So just bending through that right leg and then straightening. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold with the bend. And then this time, as we inhale, we're going to straighten the leg, bring the left knee into the chest, take the gaze forwards, keep the toes pointed. Five of these, so inhale here, exhale, take it back, warrior three. Inhale, come up, knee into the chest. Exhale, warrior three again. Inhale, bring that knee into the chest. Exhale, warrior three. Feeling into the wobbles. Inhale, bringing it into the chest. Exhale, take it back, warrior three again. Like me, feeling into the wobbles, it's easy to fall. Taking the hands down, taking the foot down as well. Breathing here, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, take it all the way back up. Hands can reach up to the sky, Udvahastasana. Exhale, bring the hands back down through heart center. Lovely, everyone. 
And I take the same variation with the left side. So coming into our Utkatasanas again, inhaling as we inhale, we bend through those knees again, take the arms up to the sky. Option again, to take the knees together, feet together, heel toe them there. Just seeing how low you can drop once again, staying with that breath gaze to the hands. Breathing in and out. Lovely, everyone. This time we're going to take those hands down and bring them to heart center. Seeing if with the hands at heart center you can drop a little lower, pushing those knees together. And we're going to take some twists here. So taking that elbow, the right elbow towards the left knee, opening out. Sometimes we can find that hook, we're not going to take the hook yet. So just taking the gaze over to the left, twisting, keeping everything engaged, breathing. One more inhale, exhale, come back through center. Inhale, exhale, twist, take it the other way. So left elbow going towards the right knee, we're dropping down low, not finding that bind yet, keep, keeping the gaze to the sides. One more big inhale here. Exhale, come back through center. Inhale. Exhale, straighten the legs, find Uttanasana, forward fold. Well done, guys. That's really hard through the legs. So letting the head hang heavy here for just a second. Breathing in and out. Inhale, find that halfway lift. Exhale, place the hands down. Step the feet back to your plank. Work through your vinyasa, knees and chest or chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or baby cobra. Exhale, tuck under the toes, fly it back, downward facing dog. So this time coming to the left side, we inhale, take left leg up, find our three-legged dog. Exhale, draw it forwards between the hands, staying on those back toes. We inhale, come up, find our high lunge. Staying with the breath here, maybe taking Kali Mudra with the hands again. Feeling into that inner power. Breathing in and out. Noticing what parts of the body are turned on. Are the glutes switched on? Are the legs switched on? Breathing in. As we exhale, we take left hand in front of us, right hand behind. Take the gaze behind you. If you can, open out, find that twist. Staying active here. Maybe left hand. Palm comes up and over, right hand maybe rests down on the back foot. Maybe you can switch that gaze up to the top hand. Breathing here, finding a reverse. Inhale, exhale, come back. Find that open twist again. Inhale, sweep the arms up, come back to the high lunge. Maybe finding that Kali Mudra again. We're working hard through the legs. Inhaling here, you know what's coming, push off. See if you can find that warrior three. Feeling into the wobbles, keeping the drishti somewhere that isn't moving. Focus on something. Point through those back toes or flex through the ankle, it's going to help. Body is parallel to the ground. Got the hands at heart center, maybe keeping that Kali Mudra. And we're going to take those pulses again, 10 again. Bending through the leg. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done, everyone. As we inhale, we're going to keep the bend, draw the knee up into the chest, gazes forwards. Exhale, we take it back, find that warrior three. Inhale, come up, knee comes into the chest three more times. Exhale, push back, warrior three. Inhaling up, feeling into the wobbles. Exhale, take it back. Whoa. Inhale, come up. Exhale, take it back. One more time, inhale, knee into the chest. Exhale, take it back, warrior three. Taking the hands down, taking right foot beside left foot, hanging out Uttanasana here, forward fold, taking a bend through the knees if you need or straightening. Oh, letting the head hang heavy, taking a moment here to pause. Inhale, finding a halfway lift. Exhale, coming 
all the way up. Rolling the shoulders back. Lovely, everyone. And we're going to take another Utkatasana, last one, I promise. So this time, making sure those knees are together beforehand. Inhaling, bending through the knees, taking the arms up. And then bringing the hands down through heart center. Maybe even taking Kali Mudra here again. Right elbow this time. We're going to take it over towards the left knee, but this time we can find that hook. So you can balance that elbow onto the knee, pushing the hands together, helping them open out through the chest. Find that twist. Gaze is over to the left hand side. One more big inhale here. Exhale, take it back through center. Inhale, left elbow goes to right knee. Taking the gaze over to the right, using the hands, pushing them together to find that bind. Maybe you can drop a little lower. Inhale and exhale. One more big inhale. Bring it back to center. Take the hands down, straighten through the legs, Uttanasana. Breathe here. Inhale, find a halfway lift. Exhale, place the hands down, step the feet back to plank. Take your vinyasa, knees and chest or chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or baby cobra. Exhale, tuck under the toes, fly the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Taking a pause here and then everyone dropping to the knees, untucking the toes, coming to sit back, reaching the hands out long, forehead to the mat, finding a child's pose. Taking this time to come back to the breath. Breathing, checking in, connecting with the body. And just allowing here everything to truly, truly release down. So if you're reaching those fingers out long, just actively allowing them to relax. Noticing the heart rate here. Staying with the breath. And then finding a stretch, walking those hands over to the right hand side. Feeling the body open through the left hand side body. Feeling it cracking open, allowing that energy in. And then slowly walking those hands back through center and taking them over to the left. Opening out through that right side body. Walking those hands back to center and then slowly drawing them back in towards you. Slowly coming up to a kneeling position. Breathing here, taking a roll through the shoulders backwards and changing direction, rolling forwards. And then using the hands to take the bum down, swivel the legs out and take the legs out long in front. Breathing here. So from here, we're going to come in to a couple of Navasanas, a couple of our boat poses, working with our balance, quite similarly to what we were just doing. So drawing those knees just into the chest. And as you draw the knees in, as you walk the feet towards you, you're going to find that spot of balance between the sit bones. And you're gently going to just be able to lift those toes off. So always variations here, modifications. You can take the feet down if you would like to. And just... Gently taking those feet up if you can, bent leg variation, arms are out. Now options to either hold here in our Navasana, focusing on the breath, feeling into any wobbles that we might have, or option we're going to take a bent leg to straight leg variation. So we're going to inhale, exhale, take everything out, 
Inhale, pull everything back in. So four more times. Exhale out. Oh, inhale back in. Exhale out. Inhale, draw it back in. Exhale out. Inhale, draw it back in, keeping the back nice and straight. Exhale out, almost coming all the way down. Exhale, draw it back in. Breathing here. Holding on if you were, holding on. Reaching the fingers long. Big inhale. Exhale, take the legs down. And we're gonna take the left leg out long. Flex through the foot. Right knee is in towards the chest. We're gonna come through our marachasana. So taking right arm up on the inhale, taking it behind you. Inhale, take left arm up as well. Either finding a hug of the right knee or taking elbow to the outside of the right knee. Inhale, find length. Exhale, find the twist. Take the gaze behind you. Keeping everything switched on here. So foot is switched on, fingers are switched on, gaze is behind, glutes are switched on. And knowing that with every inhale, we can find that little bit of length. Every exhale, maybe twist a little bit more, take the gaze behind. Stay with that breath here. One more big inhale. Exhale, taking both hands round over to the left, finding a slight counter twist. And then switching over the leg. So we take that right leg out long in front, flex through the foot, draw that left knee into the chest. Inhale here, take the left arm up, place it behind you. Inhale, right arm comes up, either finding that hug around the knee or taking the elbow to the outside. Inhale, find length. Exhale to twist. Feeling through that opening in the chest here and using that energy between the arm and the knee to help you open more. Inhale, we find length. Exhale, we twist a little deeper. Keeping everything switched on, everything active, making sure the feet are flexed. Staying with the breath. One more big inhale. Exhale, gently release. Take both hands over to the right hand side. Find a slight counter twist. And then draw both of those knees up into the chest. Once again, coming to find Anavasana. So walking those toes in. And slowly, when you've got that balance, lifting the legs up, taking the arms out long, reaching them further forwards. Breathing here. So once again, option to stay here. Or we're going to take the hands to heart center. And our variation is we're going to take one leg, draw one knee into the chest, straighten the right leg. Exhale, take right leg bent, straighten left. So we're going to do 10 of these. So I'm just going to count as we go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, pause, hug everything back in, take forehead to the knees, come back to the breath, and then we're just going to take 10 more, so coming back into that pose, Navasana, taking both legs bent to start off with, drawing those hands into the chest, or maybe if you'd like a bit more of a challenge, you can take the arms up towards the sky, straightening one, bending the other, 10 again, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hug it all in. Take forehead to the knees. Drop the feet. Breathing in and out. And then taking the legs out in front again. Nice and long. Flexing through the feet. Drawing right knee back into the chest and making sure that you've got space between the thigh and the foot so you can just check if you can get a hand in between the two and from here what we're going to do we're going to inhale take the right arm up exhale take the right thumb down towards the left toe and then we're going to wrap the arm around around the leg so you might be able to find the bind here you might be able to wrap that right hand around the left wrist and then slowly find a forward fold so inhale, find length. 
exhale fold forwards keeping that back nice and straight if you can't find the bind here you can grab on so maybe if you're wearing a t-shirt you can hold on to that or if you've got a strap you can simply hold on to the strap here and use that to help you to find the bind so wherever you are coming down into the stretch keeping with the breath keeping the foot flexed taking the gaze towards the toes here keeping the back nice and straight inhale coming up slowly releasing that bind if you have it taking right leg out long switching over drawing that left knee into the chest this time we inhale take left arm up inhale find length exhale draw left thumb down towards the right toe and from there we can wrap the arm around and maybe find the bind grab onto a t-shirt or maybe if you've got a strap you can find the bind with the strap so we inhale, find that length, exhale, start to forward fold. And the bum can lift off here, it doesn't have to stay down. Taking the gaze towards that toe. Inhaling and exhaling, just staying with the breath. slowly slowly coming back up releasing the bind and drawing both knees back into the chest again and this time we're going to come through on avasana again so taking the legs out bent leg variation taking the arms long option to stay here or maybe to straighten the legs if this is an option that you'd like and bring the hands just to heart center and then we're going to take the hands over to the left hand side and we're going to work through some Russian twists. We're going to take 20. So starting now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Well done, everyone. Grab the legs back in, take the head down. Release the feet, breathe here, taking a big inhale, and exhale, and just release the legs, taking them both out, and we're going to come through Janushasana, so right knee, coming into the chest, you can take a block here under the seat if you'd like, it might help, we come through a forward fold. So if you've got a block, you can take that under the seat. It'll help give you some length. And then once the right knee is pulled into the chest, we're just going to release it out to the side, taking the sole of the right foot towards the inside of the left thigh. If your knee is quite high up here, you can prop blocks underneath or you can maybe grab a pillow. So flex through that foot. Inhale, take the arms up to the sky, find that length. Exhale, taking a slight twist towards the left. And slowly coming down into that forward fold. Gaze towards the toes. You can take a strap here if you would like as well around the foot. If that's going to help, if that's something you're working with. Keeping that gaze towards the toes. Keeping the back nice and straight. So you can even undulate here. You can inhale, find that length. Exhale, fold down. And you can keep doing this. Inhaling up exhaling folding a little deeper whatever is working for you here gaze to the big toe staying with the breath here in and out inhale slowly coming up Taking right leg out long, slowly moving them, flexing the foot, drawing that left knee into the chest and then just dropping it out to the side, sole of the left foot into the thigh of the right leg. And once again, finding a block maybe underneath the knee here if it's a little high up or maybe a pillow, whatever's going to work for you, whatever's comfortable. Inhale, finding the length, taking the arms to the sky, exhale, take a slight twist over towards the right and fold. 
maybe taking the hands around the foot, maybe the hands are down on the sides of the mat, or maybe you've got that strap around the foot, gently pulling you slightly further down. So once again, we can work with those undulations here, inhaling, finding that length, straightening through the back, exhale, fold a little deeper, keeping the gaze to the toes. Staying with that breath here, in and out. And on an inhale, gently coming back up, releasing the strap if you do have one. And taking both legs out long, flexing through the feet. And last bit of power here, we're going to come through some more of those Russian twists. So drawing those knees back into the chest. Taking either the bent leg variation or the straight leg, whichever works for you. I think I'm going to take bent this time. Taking palms together, taking them over to the right, and we'll go for 20 again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, release, take everything back, hug the knees in, rest the forehead down. Taking a second to just come back to that breath. And then gently just lifting up, taking those legs out long in front. Maybe scooching a bit more towards the center of your mat, we're going to come down to lie on the back. And taking the arms out long in front, we're just going to see if we can lower down super slowly. So taking it super slow. Gently coming down. Lowering onto the back, lowering the head. And we're going to come through some supine twists. So drawing those knees into the chest. We're going to see if we can take a cross here. So taking the legs up straight. Just crossing over the knees and maybe you can find that second cross, bending through the knees, finding eagle. If not, just taking that first cross, bending both knees and dropping them over to the left hand side. Taking the hands out into eagle or a T shape if you've got space and taking the gaze over to the right. Starting to cool down now, coming to the end of our practice. So feel free here to close down through the eyes. Keeping with the breath. Noticing if here in these stiller positions, the mind starts to wander. Maybe it's becoming busy thinking of things that we need to do. Just staying with the breath. Drawing that awareness back in to the inhales and the exhales. Making sure the shoulders are down here. Gently uncrossing the legs, bringing them back through centre, taking the head up and taking the cross the other way. So taking left knee over right knee, maybe finding that double hook with the ankle, finding eagle and taking both legs over to the right hand side and taking the gaze over to the left, finding that twist. Neutralising out through the spine here. Shoulders are down to the mat. Staying with the breath.
on and then they're slowly coming back to the centre. Arm crossing those legs, drawing the knees into the chest and then just taking the feet up towards the sky. Coming into our happy baby, so we want to drop those knees to the outside. Maybe taking fingers around toes or maybe taking the hands around the feet or to the ankles or the shins. Just allowing the hips to open here. Once you're here, maybe finding a gentle sway from side to side, massaging through the back. Staying with the breath, keeping the eyes closed. And then gently drawing the knees back in. Taking the hands onto the knees and working through those circles again. Just using the hands to push the knees away and work them round back towards you and then together. Taking two more circles just like this. And then changing directions, pulling the knees apart, working them round back together and in. Two more times, working slowly. And the knees back into the chest. So option here to come down into a traditional Shavasana, taking the legs out long, dropping the feet to the sides, taking the palms up to the sky, or to come into whatever comfortable variation that you might like. That might be restorative rest with the feet wider than hip distance, knees together, palms facing up. You might even feel the need to come into a child's pose or relax on your side. So taking a second now to just decide what variation is best for you and also taking a minute to pop on any extra layers that you might need, maybe socks, maybe a blanket, anything that's going to keep you warm before we come into our final relaxation. So I'll give you a second. No rush. And then when you've found your spot, your comfortable position, just closing down the eyes. And taking here any last bits of movement that you might need before you find that stillness. So maybe it's a stretch overhead, maybe it's a wiggle of the fingers, or moving through the wrists or the ankles. Whatever it is, take these last couple of seconds to take some movement, take what you need. Maybe it's just grabbing an extra pillow. Just allowing the body to really relax. Allowing it to melt down here. We've worked the body hard today and it's important to take this time to recalibrate, to restore. So just knowing that even by doing nothing, you are achieving so much by just being here and just relaxing down. We're going to stay with the breath for a couple of minutes of silence. Just knowing that it's completely normal for things to pop up, thoughts, feelings, emotions. Just allowing them to sit with you throughout this practice. Knowing that if anything that isn't serving you is coming up, with every inhale, we breathe in and with every exhale, we just release it away from the body, letting it go. Knowing to always come back to that breath, come back to those inhales and those exhales. Just a couple of minutes of silence starting now. And I will bring you back in a second.
imagining that breath moving through the body, slowly working its way down to the fingers and the toes, finding those little bits of movement coming back in. Maybe it's a wiggle, maybe a stretch overhead, maybe rolling out through the wrists, through the ankles. Whatever it is, allowing the body these movements. And then ever so slowly, wherever you are, taking your time, rolling over onto one side. Giving yourself a big hug here. And then slowly in your own time, coming up to a comfortable seated position, keeping the eyes closed. When you're here, dropping that chin down, bringing hands to heart center. Feeling into that darkness and then gently starting to rub those hands together creating warmth between the hands. When you've made that heat, gently placing the palms over the eyes. Dropping into that darkness for just a second longer. Inhaling, gently removing the hands, gently fluttering open the eyes, taking your soft gaze out in front and coming back to the room, coming back to the space around you. Saying a big thank you to yourselves for cultivating that energy today. Lovely guys. Thank you so much for practicing today. I hope you enjoyed the class. Come and let me know over on Instagram if you did. And I hope you have a lovely rest of the day. Bye guys.